Hey Cancer, I hope y'all are doing well. Uh, this is going to be your general reading for what you need to know right now. I do have personals open right now for those of you who are interested. They go out the Friday after purchase. All the information you need is down in the description box. Let's go ahead and get started here. This is for Cancer, what they need to know right now. This is for Cancer, what they need to know right now. Wow, okay. Jesus Christ, the contrast there. My goodness. Okay, get your overall energy here. It looks like, the, yeah, the King of Pentacles. Underneath that, we have the Sun card. I feel like you're working on something new. There's a new project here um, in the works, so that is exciting. Um, I think some of you have been kind of feeling down in the dumps here. You've got the moon right under that Wheel of Fortune. Like, where, where is the movement is the kind of energy that I feel here. Like, where's the growth? You want more movement? I think you just want some more excitement. You've got the Page of Wands underneath that, but I think you find a passion here. Um, you start to work on that with the King of Pentacles. This is something that makes you really happy, Cancer. Let's look at the Ten of Cups. What's going on with the Ten of Cups? Queen of Wands, Ten of Wands, and the Two of Swords. Okay. Yeah, you have three tens here already. So right off the bat, I feel like a chapter is going to close. But it feels like a good thing because you have the Ten of Wands and the Ten of Swords here. It's not something that brought you joy. It's not something that brought you success. It's not something that brought any benefit to your spirit whatsoever. Um, so I think that's something that you are closing out. I think it was closed off to you to begin with because you got the Ten of Wands here to the Two of Swords. So yeah, um, I think that no matter how much work you put in here, it was always um, closed off to you. Like you always felt like it wasn't available for you um, and then you have the queen of wands here so i think you finally had the courage to call that quits and you know i think you're moving on to that ten of cups finally okay you have the ten of uh swords right here sun and gemini energy so this could have involved a gemini for some of you it doesn't have to but I think you're working through the healing. It's a slow process here, but you're doing that as well. But you know that it's for the best. Yeah, Knight of Pentacles is a slow process, but um, you know it's right where you should be. Five of Wands. And there could be resistance. Um, there could be resistance to that ending as well. The star. Hmm. Yeah. Um, there's resistance to your healing. It's like whatever whatever problematic energy you've been in, Cancer, it has really benefited whoever this is that you're closing things out with. You put in all this work and, you know, you still can't access them on the level that you need. Um, so you're everything they need and they're nothing that you need. That's the energy that I feel here. And you start to close that out and then you have the Five of Wands. This, this is conflict, strife, competition. You got that Knight of Pentacles. Like it's slow moving to your healing because this... This energy stays here in the middle. And for some of you, this is something that has repeated. It's like you've allowed this energy to stay here, to stay present. And you know that that's prolonged your healing. So you're doing it differently this time. Um, yeah, some of you, you could be blocking. It's like they're not even going to know where I went. That type of energy. Um, Seven of Cups. Somebody here could have Venus and uh, Scorpio. Ooh, the Death card, the World, and the Justice card. You know, the Seven of Cups can be a card of illusion, temptation, fantasy. Um, it really is more of like a... Um like a very light devil energy. Now, sometimes the Seven of Cups can talk about options and, you know, open road, which I feel you have, but I do feel like there's a, an illusion here that you're having to shatter about this person um, or a false perception you're having to shatter here. And I think that you built that all on your own. I think you were really focused on someone's potential, but they just could never step into that world, you know? Um, you were seeing who they could be, and I think that's what you're having to let go of here. So it's like, and I think the manipulation tactic, tactics they were able to use on you, um, they're, they're no longer working here. What else is going on with that energy? Like, I think this person intentionally confused you about things here. Like, they told lies, even if the lies didn't make sense. <laughs> like, I don't... Yeah, Ace of Wands here. That's an awakening. So, yeah, you're waking up to the things that they were doing here. You have the Ten of um, Cups. Yeah, that's why the Death card is here because you're completely closing out that energy. The Tower, yeah. Yeah, the Devil is gone here. The Devil is dead. I was hearing, what, what was that from the Wizard of Oz? It just came to my head and then it completely went away. Ding dong, the Witch is dead. Yeah, um, that's what I'm feeling here. Um, 
with the death card showing up, I also feel like that's you as well. It's like you are up next, but I mean that <laughs> in a good way. Like I feel like there's a huge, huge death process, a huge transformation coming for you. So it's a shake up, but it feels like a good thing because you're stepping into a new world, a world that, you know, gives you what's meant for you, not this fake world that you've built where this person is meant for you, if that makes sense. You got the page of cups right here, water. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. So yeah, you're working on your healing here. The Three of Wands. You could end up connecting with a water sign later on down the road, okay? They want you to know that love is still available to you. Like love is going to come in. You don't have to be done with love. You just have to be done with this person for the time being. Um, there could be a, a Pisces or an air sign with their eye on you here. I've got Aries as well. I think you're mastering something too. Like I said, I think that you are working towards a big goal here of yours. Um, you move from the Page of Swords to the King of Swords. My goodness. And the Three of Wands. This is a card of sending something out. I'm telling you, I feel like you guys have something to share here with people. You have something to offer here um, to people, okay? And you have the Page of Swords and the King of Swords and the Hangman. I feel like you took your time learning something. Um developing your own perspective on something here and I think you're ready to share that when you move from a page to a king or a queen that always talks about progression and forward movement but I feel like with the page of cups this is something that's truly going to touch people I don't know if you're telling your story here about something what's going on with this energy what else do we have here queen of cups yeah uh definitely moving from the page to the queen now so yeah absolutely um emotional maturity here and again i think you've taken your time to heal from things from certain things figure out what you want with the two of wands how you're going to approach things how you're going to um display them as well you have the eight of swords showing up next um jupiter and gemini what's going on with this Oh, Cancer. Two of Pentacles. You got the Knight of Cups, the Judgment card, and the Two of Pentacles. Like, this person is obviously unstable, and there they are, you know, trying to come back in. I think they're trying to come back in more gentle this time. Like I said, I think the Devil energy, like the Seven of Cups energy, I mean, they were using before. Um, you know, I feel as if that, that's no longer working, so they're trying a different tactic here, okay? The Moon, the Eight of Wands, like, it's still the same thing underneath the surface here so keep that in mind they could be coming at you with a little bit more emotion than you're used to uh, with a judgment card like hey you know I've, I've figured out why things happen the way that they did and two of pentacles um they're sitting here rationalizing their choices um and then you have the moon card and the eight of wands so yeah there's a lot of messaging here there's a lot of emotions being spilled out but are they real you know the moon card says be cautious there are things you don't know and i think that this person could potentially get you wrapped up again yeah, I think that's what's going on here. Nine of Wands. Mm -hmm. I don't. I already don't think that you trust this here. Eight of Cups, the Hermit. Yeah, you've done a lot of reflecting, and I think that you know not only with this person, but you're you're pretty much able to see in most mo, for the most part poten, uh, intentions right off the bat here. Yeah, the Queen of Pentacles, the Fool. And I also think that for a lot of you, you could be dating, uh, believe it or not, by this point in time. You could be dating because some of you are like, no way. <laughs> um, but you have the King of Pentacles as your overall and the Queen right here and the Fool and the Three of Cups. Three of Cups can be socializing, dating. Um, so yeah, I think you know your worth here. And um, yeah, I think you've reflected, like you've given this a lot of thought and you're not going to be allowing this person to return here and pretend that things are okay uh but again they're coming at you with a different energy and for a split second i think you're like oh maybe but nope seven of swords um goodness gracious you have the two of wands right here mars and aries let's look at that page of wands eight of swords and the queen of swords yeah you're definitely leaving that um trapped energy behind you here and you know i, I also feel like one of these other things that um you know, another thing that is bringing about this energy of feeling trapped is like passions have been trapped um, for so long. You've got this page of wands here, like things that you've desired, things you've wanted to do have been kind of stuck in your head here for so long, like you've not been doing a lot with them here. But the two of wands is saying you're finally putting these plans into action, okay? I think you're meeting new people, welcoming in new people, Cancer. That's super exciting. What else is going on with this energy here? Like you were just transforming all around. It's a huge victory for you. Like, I've never seen anything like this for you here. Eight of Pentacles. Like, this is something that you choose to put in the work on this. And it's like, as soon as you start to plant seeds, things start to come to fruition for you. You start to gain the strength to cut things out that were not good for you. 
Um, so it's almost like in not following these passions, like that was the main thing that was keeping you stuck here. You got the King of Pentacles, keeping you away from people you were meant to be with. King of Cups of Temperance, your healing. I mean, your spiritual growth, like your gifts, your talents, your skills, your abilities. You, you close this out and you move on from it and you start to carry out your vision, okay? So this is huge for you. This is going to be huge. Like cutting this out is absolutely crucial here, okay? Absolutely crucial. Um, wow, Cancer. I hope that you'll watch out for your other signs, but if this is where we part. I want to thank you for watching and supporting me and you'll enjoy your year. Bye.